You know when you've got a document that you've read over and over and over again, but you're still not sure if it reads right or even sounds right? Well, I'm going to show you a Gemini powered tool in Google Docs that I think you might like. It gives you a convenient way to listen to your content, helping you identify any errors in your writing. But before I show you what it is, you need to be aware that it's only for those with a business standard or higher Google Workspace account or for any accounts that have a paid Gemini subscription. So if that's you, then let's get started. So I'm talking about this little icon up here on the far right of your toolbar in Google Docs. When you hover over it, it says, listen to this tab. Now, if you can't see that icon, you can also access it by clicking on tools, then go down to audio and listen to this tab. You can access it that way. Now, before you click on it, make sure to turn up your volume and listen to this. I'm just gonna quickly click on. You know when you have a document that you've read over and over and over again, but you're still not sure if it reads right or sounds right? Did you hear that? How good is that? So you'll see an audio bar that appears down here in the bottom left corner where you can pause the voice recording. You can also grab the bar and reposition it somewhere else by clicking on the dots over on the left hand side of it you click and drag to a better position for you. And that's not all. You can also change the playback speed by clicking on this icon here and choosing the speed that you prefer. And the best thing is you can even change the type of voice that's reading the document. Simply click on the three dots here for more options and then change voice. So here you can choose a style that you prefer. You've got the options of educator, narrator, coach, motivator, and so on you can choose a style that would fit the type of document that you want it to read. So I'm just gonna go to Educator and select. You know when you have a document that you've read over and over and over again, but you're still not sure if it reads right or sounds right? Well, I'm gonna show you a Gemini powered tool in Google Docs that you might like. How cool is that? Click back on the three dots and you've also got the option to insert an audio button. Now, before you do that, make sure your cursor is in the position where you want the button to go. So you might want it right at the very top of the document. Then we can click back on the three dots here and insert audio button. I'm just gonna close the audio bar down because we've finished now with, the, with listening to the audio. Now you can also insert this audio button here by going to insert on the toolbar, then go down to audio buttons and click listen to the tab here. And it will do the same thing. It will insert the same audio button. So when you hover over the audio button, you'll see that a pencil appears over on the right of it here. This is so that you can make changes to it. So if you click on there, it opens up the pane on the over on the right hand side. And here you can give the button a different name if you want to. You can change the color of the button. So you can even customize it to bring in your own brand colors if, if needed. And here's where you can also change the color of the text as well as the background. And then if I customize the color of the text as well, so the text I'm gonna say is white, click OK. And you can also change the size of the button by clicking on the plus or the minus buttons here next to it. So you can see you can make it as big as you want to or as small as you want to. And once you're happy with that, you can close down the audio pane here by clicking on the cross in the top right corner. So there you have your button. Now, just to make you aware that each time you insert the audio button, the new one will always be back in the default style. So you have to go through and make the changes to it again. And if you're sharing the document with others and you've included an audio button, then it's worth noting that they can only listen to it if they're also on a paid Gemini subscription or have a business standard Google Workspace account or higher. And job done. So what do you think? Will you be using this handy feature? Let me know in the comments below if you've already tried using this feature or if you're just gonna go straight into your Google Docs now and give it a whirl, I'd love to know. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.